Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Great crowd so far. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Bendix blind spotter in our tech talk. This will be my last tech talk for the day, so thank you all for joining me. Hope you're enjoying the show thus far. Uh, the Bendix blind spotter is a very simple system. It's going to take me a few minutes to walk you through it. Uh, very useful tool, very inexpensive, and easy to install actually, should you choose to go that route for your truck. Applies to single operators. You can also order it equipped already from factory. And I'll walk you through some of the features and uh, where it can really help you out. This is the unit right here. I will show you both components. We have a display that goes in the cab, and we have a sensor that goes on the outside. So in this simple first graphic here, we're going to show you how it normally works when you're just heading down the highway, what it does. Uh, there's really very simple functionality to this device. So first off, what is the Bendix blind spotter radar? It is a simple device that mounts usually to the right-hand side of your truck, just behind the passenger cab door. And the whole purpose of it is to detect a vehicle or any small object that may be in that so-called blind spot, where it's hard to see for the driver. If he's going to make a right-hand turn, you usually can't see down into that immediate area. That system is going to warn you that something's there that you could potentially run into. So in normal operation, we have a display that mounts to the right-hand side A-pillar. just looks like this. It simply mounts up with a screw mount. You can also Velcro it right to the A-pillar. The reason why we put it on the A-pillar on the right-hand side is because as you're driving and you naturally gaze across to check your rearview mirror on the right-hand side, your field of view will naturally cross that display. So on the display, there's two simple operating modes, a yellow LED light, that will just indicate that the system is functional, operational. It is checking that immediate space on the right-hand side next to the truck for you. If, however, there was a vehicle in that space and you don't see it, the light will turn red, letting you know that in the detection zone of our blind spotter sensor, this is what it looks like, if there's something in that detection zone, it will turn the light red. But it won't give you an audio until you actually use your turn signal and try to move into that area. If you don't use the turn signal and you just go into that area, you'll still see the red LED on. And optionally, if you were to be equipped with lane departure warning, which I can show you after our presentation, the lane departure warning system would also give you a warning that you're crossing over the line without using your signal. But coming back to the blind spotter, very simplistic system. I'm going to move over to the second slide just to show you guys the detection range and whereabouts it would be located on the truck. So again, simple graphic here. We've got the cab the passenger door, and as I said, it would be just below and further back from the passenger door, about a foot or so. And the coverage area is quite large because obviously we want to be able to detect anything from a pickup truck to a small passenger car, even maybe a motorcycle. As long as there's enough metal there next to you, it will uh, light up the red LED and also sound an alarm if you're then approaching into that lane. So you can see here the coverage area, we're talking about 10 feet out, by about 15 feet wide. So it is critical to pick the right placement on that vehicle. Should you order this in an aftermarket kit, there will be a, a graphic much uh, similar to this with some measurements to show you the optimal position where you can place that sensor. And of course you can test it easily after you've installed it. Simply drive up to a vehicle in a parking lot, throw the signal on, on your right hand side and you should be able to hear and see the display warning you that something's in your blind area. You'll also notice that on the display that goes on the A-pillar there's a small button here with a speaker graphic and that will give you three volume options. So if you don't like the beeping sound it makes and you rely more on the LED functionality you can turn the volume down or if you like to listen to music on a little louder volume just simply turn that up so you can be sure to hear the warning as you're turning to the right hand side. You could also throw another blind spotter on the left-hand side. The system can be used on either side. Generally speaking, we put it on the right-hand side because that is the immediate blind spot area, but it also works just as well on the left. The harnessing is very simple. Simply go in through a J1939 harness. That's for diagnostic purposes. We also have a power hookup on the back. Three mounting points, real easy. Comes with the mounting bolts and the necessary bracketry. You pick that spot on the side of the truck, and depending on the bracket or the cutout that might already be provided, um, you can place the sensor there, and the wiring harness would simply go on the inside, underneath the floor, come up to the A-pillar, and that's where the rest of the harness connects to the display. So it's a standalone system, if you will, but you are connected into J1939 also. So anyone can really perform this installation doesn't take you know, great technical knowledge to pull that off. The diagrams and the instructions are also provided in our aftermarket kit. 
But as I said in the beginning, you can easily order this as an equipped option from factory, should this be a concern. Right? So great option if you're heading down the highway, long stretches of road, and you find yourself changing that lane, you just have that lack of visibility in that area. This is where that system can really give you that, that small warning. That's it in a nutshell. Do you guys have any questions? You can do both. A great question, actually. So each individual kit is an independent installation. So you can throw one on the right, but you can also put an additional one on the left-hand side. It doesn't mean you just have one or the other. You can put both on there. We even have folks that put it on the very back and act as a backup alarm. Because again, as you're backing up to a loading ramp, it will detect the metal in the loading ramp and let you know that you're approaching within that range on the loading ramp. So. And you don't have to have that display on the A-pillar necessarily. We recommend it there because, as I said, as you look across to check your rearview mirror, you're naturally coming across that display and you can see the LEDs, but you could place it closer to the center if you're more comfortable seeing it there as well. The harnesses are long enough to give you some options for that also. Yeah. Any other questions? All right. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, make sure you grab a T-shirt and some other uh, giveaways, and uh, have a great rest of the show. Thank you.